Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Sorry my upload schedule's a bit odd lately. Um, I'm feeling a bit better. But, there's been a lot of like sawing and such in the room next to mine. What were we even doing last episode? I don't remember. So that's being prepared, and we have some meat being prepared over here. So I really don't remember what's going on. Anyway, yeah, there's like sawing and shit going on in the next room. And even with my headset, it picks up on the mic. I honestly don't remember what I was doing. That's kind of awkward. I guess we should just explore this area. Yeah, we haven't explored down here at all. And it's getting too dark to really do much anyway. But we have a few days to kill. Cold is it? Kinda cold, but not too cold. Cool. New ritual. Wait for the sun to come up a bit. And back to exploring. Are we still in their territory? Oh, we're actually on our way out of it. I think that's the first time we've actually... This will have been the first time we actually left it. So that's interesting. Might see some more interesting stuff out here. Might hear me say interesting 300 times this episode. <laughs> Ooh, looks like a mountain range over here. And a lag spike. Not really much going on around here, is there? Is that a hair over there? I think I saw a hair run by. Let's break the ice and get a drink while we're here. I didn't even realize I said that. So far, we haven't really come across anything. I like to find a vagabond town, maybe a near visit town, just something. And it's getting dark. Uh, settlement? Where? Oh, I see it. There you are. So we can probably sleep in here. We have puppies. I think we left all of our trade stuff back at one of the camps, though. Well, let's take a nap anyway. Why did they get a point of fatigue? Did it snow? It doesn't look like it snowed. I'm like, wait, kid. What do you have on you? Cord, food, nothing I really care about. He 
still have chat left? Kind of surprised. The fat usually does last a long time, though, from large animals. Does this place have a shaman? Shaman? I don't know the proper pronunciation of that. Never did. You're a woodsman. I don't care about you. So, a little shack, basically. Alright, well, looks like they don't have one. Okay, mountains. Anything interesting? Not really. I wouldn't mind finding another Nirpa's warrior wandering around. I wouldn't mind if the game would stop locking up like that. I screwed up my recording settings or something. Normally I have to set the recording program to have a lower priority than the game. But I think I might have forgotten to do that. And I'm sure none of you actually care about what I was just talking about. <laughs> oh, they got rid of that thing where even a small amount of water will completely quench your thirst. It's a little bit annoying, but makes sense. Two caves. I don't think we have a torch with us, though. Oh, we do. Cool. And we have a nice path down the mountain. But no trees to light on fire. Never mind. Where's the way in? Um, is there a way in? Can I like squeeze through this crack? Yeah, I can. That's kind of awkward. Uh, what was the button for climbing? I can't remember. L. Yeah, keep trying. Okay, where's the other one? Over here. There's normally nothing in these caves, to be honest. Occasionally you'll find a bear, that's about it. Looks like this is another empty one. Not really much to do right now with this character, I guess. Just looking for a near bez or something at this point. Yeah. Surviving, even just wandering around like this, isn't that difficult. I didn't actually mean to come into the caves area. Yeah. Once you get used to the game, it's actually pretty easy to survive. Once you get past like the very first parts of the game where you have no food at all. But even starting in winter, I managed to get a kill like my first day or something. Now I'll leave the weasel alone.
and one good sized kill pretty much sets you up to survive for the rest of the game until something weird happens. Where even are we? We've been wandering for a while, haven't we? Yeah. We're well out of anyone's territory. I wonder if there's like an actual edge of the map or if it just or if it's just an island. Actually no, I've never gone that far. I don't wanna run. Right, I need to stop by a water source. Having your water sources matter more would actually make the game more difficult, I think. Because I've been living off of stagnant water pretty much for this character's entire life. It's not a good thing. Like, in real life, she would have died by now from the shit she's been drinking. But this game doesn't model that. Oh, it's a fox. For a second I thought it was a wolf. I got scared. Oh well. Really nothing going on over here, is there? At least we're killing a few days. A lot of caves around here. But, like I said, most of the time there's nothing, and when there is something, it's basically just a bear. And we really don't need a bear right now. Could use some Nirpes warriors, but that's about it for things we need. Anything interesting? Nope. I am kind of curious what's at the edge of the map though. I'm not sure if it's just ocean or what. I've never actually gone that far east. I've seen the western coast. But I'm not sure if it's an island or not. What was that? Uh, hmm. Don't know. I thought I saw a red message pop up, but I didn't see what it was. Maybe we should head into near best territory, actually. To the southeast, I think. Yeah. Probably straight south of us by now. We've been wandering east for a while. But we're starting to find some near beds down there, I would think. Right? How could we not? It's where we live. Oh, hey, a boar. Hold on, there's that F3. Wild boar shaped figure. I haven't even really come across much in the way of rivers. It's very boring terrain. Just a bunch of caves. Not where eat. And stop by and drink some swamp water again. Yeah, there's not really much to talk about. We haven't accomplished anything this episode so far, and it's already like halfway over. Oh well. This game lends itself to boring episodes, I think. 
occasionally there's some action, but most of the game is just wandering around, sort of aimlessly in the woods, hunting, and generally doing mundane tasks. Which makes it sound a lot worse than it is. It's a lot of fun to play, but I don't think it really lends itself to being LP particularly well. Um, I lost my facing for a second there. It's an elk, but we really don't need one. We have enough food to get back to our shelter. And we're well north of the near Bez still. Which is ultimately where I'm walking to. Real point chasing an elk in these woods anyway. Like the pine mire isn't too bad because you can see through pine trees pretty easily. But it's still annoying because your arrows keep getting stuck in trees and stuff. And it's easy for them to hide behind the trees. fishing actually. I don't know why, I just feel like it. See if we get anything. Actually, once we're done with this, I want to experiment with something. What happens if I start a fire on the ice? Nothing? Really? That's disappointing. I was hoping it would burn through and melt the ice. But apparently that doesn't happen. I'm very disappointed in that actually. <laughs> I was really hoping to burn a hole in the ice, basically. The hair now. Looking for bipeds, not rodents. Actually, are hairs rodents? Not sure, now that I think of it. Thought they were, but could be mistaken on that. I guess not. They don't really share much in common with other rodents. Not like rats in my skull. Oh hey, lake. The nice thing about lakes in the winter is you can walk right over them, like I'm doing now. So they're not nearly as annoying to navigate, and they make seeing in a wide area pretty easy. Wield the arrows. Where'd you? Asshole. Stop running away from me. And it snowed around here, apparently. Can I hide? No. One, two. Terrible shot. But. Don't think I'm getting a better one right now. I don't know if snow fatigues animals, actually. Like I don't know if this elk will get fatigued faster because of the because of snow or not. 
Oh, it's a stag. It's a small stag, but it's a stag. I don't really like my chances of actually hitting it with an arrow. Has it not noticed me? I don't... You're very bad at being a stag, stag. I'll take the shot. Really? Probably the best shot I'm going to get on it. We're really fatigued though, so I'm not too surprised that we missed. Just disappointed. Alright, well, it's fatigued, but so are we. And I'm pretty sure we're getting tired faster at this rate. Stop sneaking. There's no point sneaking. It knows we're here and we're not going to get another good shot on it. Come back north. And yeah, I realize most of the stag meat is probably going to go to waste. Because I don't really feel like hanging up to dry out here. But I want to make sure we have enough food to get back without issue. Slightly fatigued, and we're pretty fatigued actually. I think we're really tired. I'm not liking our chances of doing any real damage once we once we catch up to it. Get that job will now. I'm not running because we'll just get fatigued a lot faster if we run. And right now, that's not something that will be beneficial to us. Just onto the ice, though. Where are you going? Make up your mind. Apparently, you decided this way. Zoom out really made hunting a lot easier. Used to be you could only hunt in this view. I mean, stuff like that happened where you would just lose track of where it went. And you depended a lot more on actually following its trail, which I'm pretty bad at, to be honest. I think I had an episode early on where I was following a trail and it doesn't work out so well for me. Some people are pretty good at it, but I'm not one of those people. How tired are you now? Just regular fatigued? Well, we're getting there. Very slowly, but... Eventually, we should get there. If it would stop taking these damn naps. We would have a much easier time following it, I think. But no, it has to take naps every, like, couple meters. This um, 
background of just ice, which is really disorienting me, actually. <laughs> It's very fatigued, but so are we. I think I'm going to make myself sick if I stare at the screen too much longer. From this, um white and light blue background. It's really fucking with my eyes. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it doesn't even feel like I'm moving. I guess that's realistic, because if you've ever been out in like zero visibility snow, it's that's the sort of feeling I'm having right now. But I guess this would be more akin to like walking through an open field after it snows, where it's just flat white everywhere you look. Why won't you just stop running? Fucking hell. And the game is doing that thing where it processes my key presses slower than they actually happen. Wait, can I run? How fast do I run? Not very. But hopefully I can keep him from taking another nap. Even breathless, he's like keeping up with me. There we go. Finally. Alright, what weapons do I have? Looks like the javelin is my best bet. And we're not going to get a good hit on him at all, so I'm just going to jab at the largest part of him with the pointy end of my stick until he dies. We're not getting a good hide when we're this tired. I don't really feel like waiting around for our fatigue to come back. It's not yet. Wait a couple minutes. Eat. All right, I should cut up this corpse before I forget about it. I don't think we're going to be able to carry all of it, but it was a small one, so we might be able to carry most. 181 bounce. Not bad. Take a nap on the ice. Alright. How much of this do we have to drop? And we got a ritual, I think. Oh, we didn't learn it. We don't have any sacrifice rituals then, do we? No. Okay, well, those six cuts are staying behind then. I think it's time we head back towards our shelter. 
so it's three west and one north. Hello. I guess he caught up to us. Oops. Okay, well that was really stupid actually, but I'm gonna call an episode there. That was really bad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well. See you next time guys. Bye!